Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or whatever time you may watch this or listen to this All Things Healing podcast and video. On yesterday, I had a breakthrough. I had a breakthrough. First of all, let me just say this. Um, I did something that was very scary last night. <laughs> and it was it was amazing. I led my first um group in counseling and it went how it went. And I got was able to sit there and get the feedback, which was challenging, but um, cause you never know what people are gonna say. But nevertheless, it went really well. So, you know, those things that are scary, you can still do them. You can still do those scary things. On the other side of it is it's an experience that you've never had before. And the more you do it, I ain't gonna say the less scary it'll be, but you know that you have the evidence that you can do that, those things. So nevertheless, let me talk about what I came here to talk about. I was watching this video <laughs> on the six stages of change. And this is from a um a licensed trauma therapist. And I'm sitting here listening to this, these different stages, and I got stuck on one stage, and that was the relapse stage. That was stage six. So it's six stages. And stage six was the one that just really just stuck with me. I started thinking about how many times I used to do this and couldn't understand why I was doing this. So um, why can't, it's the title of this video is, why can't I change? Why do I always go back to the pattern? Why can't I change? Why do I always go back to the pattern? Relapse, that's the stage I'm talking about, stage six relapse is a part of the process moving forward nobody never i never knew this okay relapse is a part of the state it's a part of the process of moving forward okay relapse is a part of change all change requires making a change relapse is a part of it's a part of change all change requires making a change it doesn't mean you're not healing or growing you're going you're going to get you you're, you're excuse me you're going to get the information you need so each time you go back you're just going to get the information that you need because you want to make sure you have all the information so you can finally at least you can finally walk away so let me talk about let me stop right here because I want to go into um how I can't how I why this breakthrough happened because there was a time when the relationship was completed and I kept going back I kept going back I kept going back and you know, talking to the person, you know, having conversations with the person, um, other things with the person, if you know what I mean. And we have a tendency to go to relapse. We have a tendency to go back and keep going back and keep going back. And sometimes we don't understand why. Like, why can't I just leave this person alone? Why am I so drawn to this person? It's a relapse. It's, it's a part of the, the stages of change, the six stages of change. Relapse is a part of that. It's a part of that step, that process. Have you ever relapsed? And this could be, you know, in relationships. This could be, you know, maybe drugs. This could be alcohol. This could be so many different things when it comes to, you know, change. Just think about this rubber band. (laughs) You can stretch it as far as you want. It's going to snap back. And sometimes we do that. We continue to snap back. Go back to that. The original thing we used to do over and over again, not realizing it. And I was going back so many times. I stopped telling people because I wasn't ready yet. I didn't know why. I didn't know anything about the, the the relapse was a part of the process and moving forward. Right. So, um, sometimes you got to go through that thing again and again and again until you get all the, all the information that you need in order to walk away. Sometimes you're going to go back over and over and over and over again until you get all the information so you can finally walk away. And when you're in the process of change, it can feel like we're at a battle with whenever we're going through the process of change, it can feel like we're in a battle with others when we're at a battle with our old selves. So your old self is at a battle is at a battle with your new self. The battle is not on the outside. The battle is on the inside. And sometimes the person who you used to be needs to go back to that place to see that they're that they're um, they cannot thrive there. So the reason I kept going back, I had to make sure that 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 it was over. It was complete. I couldn't thrive there. I no longer wanted this. This was something that was no longer good for me. And I'm going to tell you, I knew I knew when that happened. The last time that I went back. God used this person (laughs) to redirect me out of out of their life for good. 
because when I went back that last time, I never forget what was happening. Um, this person called um, one of my one of my children and was like, "Hey, it's Facetime. Look who here." And then um, they said um, after the phone call ended, I was embarrassed. I was shamed. I was ashamed. Okay, I felt all of the all of those all of them, all of those things. And this person said that um, I keep doing that. I keep doing that because I know you're gonna come back. And that was the camel. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Have y'all ever heard that? <laughs> I think I mean that's how you say it. Nevertheless, that was when I I was done. I was done because I realized that if I did not walk away completely, I would continue to destroy and hurt myself. Because this person, it was a game to them. Like they were so used to me doing that. I couldn't blame them. I could only blame myself because I kept going back. I kept relapsing. All change requires all change requires making mistakes. You will fall back into old patterns. This stage is about how you plan to respond to yourself when you do. Okay? So I had to do something different. I had to block the phone number. I had I had to delete the phone number so I wouldn't I wouldn't continue to relapse. I had to do what I had to do. But like I said, once that person said that, it was like, yeah, no, I can't do that. I got I can do anything but that. I will. I refuse to continue to do that. And that's when I shut the door completely. And sometimes it takes going back and forth again and again and again and again and again and again and again. How however long? Don't do not judge yourself. Do not beat yourself up if you are in it right now. If it's a couple, if it's a couple years later. I don't know how long it how long it takes because everybody's tolerance is different. For me, um, I kept doing this until I, until I stopped, and I and nobody could stop me but me. Nobody. When I say nobody, nobody could stop me but me. So here's some questions. If this is you, here are some questions because I print out um, I downloaded this workbook to go to go along with this because it was so good and it was so helpful, and I want to be able to share and teach it to other people as well because it's it added so much value to my life and it made so much sense to um the things that I was doing and so um here are some here are some questions to ask yourself if you're in the relapse stage right now. How would you respond to yourself when you fall back into the old patterns? Don't beat yourself up, okay? How will you respond to yourself when you fall back to those old into the old patterns? What is one phrase you can say to yourself to encourage yourself when you mess up? We got this. Get up. Girl, get up. I got I got I got something for you. Girl, get up. Get up. Get out of here. Let's go. How do you plan on getting how do you plan to get back on track? You got to find something else to do. Right? You got to find a hobby. If you're going through a complete, I like to call it a completed relationship, you have to find something else to do. Because if not, you're going to resort back to those old, that old pattern. You must, because that was what I did. You have to find something to do. What I found was, I found inspiration. I found motivation. I started listening to motivational videos, inspirational videos. I started listening to gospel songs. You know, I had to clear that. I had to clear that playlist because that playlist kept me going back and forth over there. Listen to all them love songs and all that, um, you know, those songs just, just, you know, you know what songs are talking about. <laughs> Listen to that stuff. It starts, it, it'll put you in this, it'll kind of like hypnotizes you, right? And now you're in your feelings and boot up and all this, you listen to all this stuff. And now you're thinking about this person and then you get, don't, don't get no alcohol, no alcoholic drink. Now you're ready. Now you're ready to call. You're ready to put on, you ready to put on your pajamas and leave the house. Okay, I'm just, I'm just telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you my business, but nevertheless, relapsing is a part of the process. So you have to have a plan for those relapses because they're going to happen and just know that it's a part of the process in, of moving forward. Don't beat yourself up. Okay. You got to find something differently to do. All right. The stages of grief, I mean, excuse me, the stages of change. Um, Why can't, why can't I change? Why do I always go back to the pattern? It's a part of the process. Relapse is one of the stages. It's okay. Don't beat yourself up. You got to do something different. Okay. You have to do something. You have to replace that with something else. Because if not, you're going to keep using that same thing. Just like the rubber band. Keep going back to its original form. Right. So that's all I wanted to share. This blew my entire mind. And I wanted to help somebody else today. Maybe this is you. Just know that. It's all right, girl. Get up. You got this. Keep going.